Look, I am your father. It's a trade for RV repair man, an RV repair man trade. Oh, very nice. Can we go? Sure. Where Please. do you want to go? Let's go. Let's go now. I gotta head to I gotta head to someplace real quick to dewinterize two RVs. But talking about smart guys, look at this. I bolted this angle iron in right here. We're gonna hold it with a two by four or four by four to hold this slide in place while we take it apart. Cause this is a little wonky, wompy noppy. So I got some two buys and a crisscross, and we're gonna do whatever we can do, and we're gonna rope the top. I'm gonna show you something really cool. Look at this. I just picked this up. One clip, boom. And it stays on, look. And it swivels too. And all your most common tools are in here. Walt taught me that one. Show off your tool thing. My tool pouch? Yeah, this is right here. This is his right here, but it's on a strap. Fireman strap, see? And it goes around him right here. So he can actually, he doesn't have any weight, weight on his hips. He can wear shorts, everything else, and be good. Because that, I'm short. Was it fire firefighter days? Oh well, you know, hey, it works. It works really comfortably, so that that's all that counts. But when you you can't run with this though, it's gonna shake off, I, right? I'm not gonna run off. All right, guys, we're gonna go to. Oh, in the heck! What got in his car last? Oh my goodness! Ah. Holy cow! I'm not even a big guy, and I couldn't get in that thing. Must have been Heather. All right, all right, we're coming to this one right here. We had washed this one. And it's still a little dirty in spots, but nothing I can do about that. I washed everything I can wash. Anybody home? Camper pros. Camper pros. Anybody home? Holy. Look at this thing. Not only these steps, you got to climb up more steps to get in a fifth wheel. Holy. I want to make sure. Okay. Is this cold? Someone's supposed to be fridge, filling the refrigerator. Oh, it smells cleaner in here. All right, we gotta turn the lights on. Oh, someone cleaned. Yeah, someone cleaned up a little good. We gotta make sure, make sure there's nothing frozen and this is a very expensive RV. Straighten it out a little bit, there we go. All right. All right, what are we gonna do here? Make sure this sinks off. All right, so someone did a little bit of cleanup in here, which is good. All right, we gotta get the hose. We gotta dewinterize this thing. I got two to do here. Tanks, boom, boom, boom. Center point, low points. Low point drains. Throw the filter in. Uh, yeah, you don't want to drink that stuff. It's supposed to be safe for animals, but I doubt it. I don't believe everything you read, guys, on the internet or anywhere. All right. We got to put this filter on first before we... And then, because I don't want antifreeze in the filter. We got to flush it out first. This hose is ridiculous. Oh... Don't use this hose, guys. This is not the right hose to use. Rah! Right to there. See, you still got antifreeze in there, so that's why you don't want to put the filter in first. You want to rinse it out. It's a good idea. Hmm. There's the pink pink. There she is. Some lights on in here. This thing is high tech. I had to replace this screen already, guys. Like, if you want all the lights on, your lights on. Boom, the entire camper lights up. I'm talking entire camper. All right, I'm just a little worried about the ice maker. This the ice maker. I wasn't able to shut that off. Because if that ice maker leaks, you gotta take the whole refrigerator out. They pop at you. Come on, don't pop on me. Put on very low on these things. See? Yep, see that? They intend to pop way out here. Put pink stuff on a white carpet. Oh my goodness. White carpet. Get rid of that white carpet for now. 
Sometimes if you turn them all on it, whoa. Sometimes you turn them all on at once, it's less pressure and you can get everything out. You won't have these pops, see? See what I'm saying? Uh, here's another RV I'm doing. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Yeah. This is a heavy hose, man. Heavy power. Heavy power. Okay, they got the power locked. So I called them up and said, unlock me because I got to get out of here. I have too much to do today. I hate doing this stuff. <laughs> it's like, really? But, you know, you never know, right? This guy pay me, pays me well, so I'm going to do it. And he pays me good, so what the heck. You got to be careful, guys. You don't put it into the tank flush. I've done that, walked away, and blew the tank out. So you don't want to do that. Water's up front. Oh, man, this is the wrong end. So it's a good idea to take this hose and flush it out first because you don't want all that crap in there, you know, from the, from the rust. I got to go, little girl. Say hi for the camera. Yeah. Did she pee, Fred? She's peed, but she hasn't pooped yet. Come on, let's go poop. So I'm just getting a couple of valves to fill it and stuff like that. How cool is that? Yeah. We're at another RV park not too far away. I won't say the name, to, though. Let's go see. He says he's got a complaint about this one about uh, the refrigerator. Refrigerator is leaking, so it's probably a pipe underneath, or maybe it's something leaking from the refrigerator. I don't know. And take this out. Look at the way we had to support this. And this is all rotted while it's cutting that through. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa! Hey, my foot stuck. Oh my gosh, your foot, your foot stuck? Oh, oh, you got it? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? What the heck? I gotta go inside. What the heck's going on in there? He got his foot stuck in the slide. Why are you jumping through the slide? Is it that rotted? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Is it that rotted? Where did you get your foot stuck? No, oh I got it. I was it's like I couldn't help myself. I fell right through. Holy cow, why are you stepping out? Oh, we gotta get it out anyways. Oh yeah. That's, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, Walt. We got this slide supported good enough so I don't fall out of the RV. Yeah. Okay. You think we should tie it up to the tree? <laughs> well, we should tie, should tie it around an AC unit or something. We got the supports on the back, but there ain't much hole and we take the bottom out. Should we should we put the rope on there, Walt? Should we rope it? Huh? You you think it'll be okay? Or you want to rope it? It'll be okay. I got that, I got that double triple support. It'll be okay? Yeah, it'll be okay. Look, I'm your father. The Walmart guy's right there. He's delivering delivering his food. It's pretty nice to have Walmart deliver. Well, Walt Thingamajigger is holding on so far because we have no more floor. Let's go in with see what Walt's doing up inside slide. What's going on? Holy mackerel. Rollers. We just... Here's the problem. This is longer than 8 foot. An 8 foot sheet of uh, OSB. I don't know how they got more than an 8 foot sheet of OSB. How did they get more than an 8 foot sheet of OSB? I don't get it. Like, it doesn't come 4 by 8 sheets. That's it. Standard. Or does this RV company manufacturers get longer pieces? They must get longer pieces. Because that's one piece. I, I can't get a one piece. And you know what? That's particle board. We need to get one piece plywood. You'll never get one that big. That's true. Leave in the comments if you can get a bigger piece. I've never seen one. I don't know why this is one piece. I, I don't know how they did that one piece. but. Okay, guys. What we did here is we put the black plastics on this side. Um, we put two-sided uh, sticky stuff. It's like sticky. And we put the glue on both sides and let it tack and then put it together. We cut this piece exact to go under there. It's gonna go under that wall. So we have to do it in two pieces because this is a, uh, um, the, you can't get a piece of plywood that big. And the customer wants plywood and I want plywood because this stuff is junk. So that fits perfectly in here. It slides right in the groove here. So don't forget, you got a groove here. We're gonna put a two by six on top and screw it to it. So it's, it's gonna be fine. 
this thing customer dropped it off and he's like i need you to work on this airstream i need you to replace the water heater okay well we'll do that so we go get a price in the water heater and he doesn't like it he wants to shop and get one himself i said that's fine but we don't warranty it if you get it yourself through amazon we get it from our wholesaler okay so he wants to be you know they're being cheap it's like i'm sorry but i bring the labor down to be able to put the heater in and make a little bit off the heater just like any business right but they all want to order their own parts now and I, and I won't deal with that anymore i said no then i'm not warrantying if it breaks tomorrow i'm not warrantying i'm not putting it back in for free so i told him i said no and he might want to pick it up i said pick it up i, I can't keep doing this guys you guys shopping for parts on amazon and coming here and having me put them in i'm not doing that i'm not doing then, then when it breaks I said you just put it in you got to replace it so no you got the part and then it's a big argument so i won't do it i will not do it and it's another gentleman bought the AC. He's like, he wanted to get the AC. And it's fine. I understand. And you got to save some money. But the problem is, is I'm, my labor, our labor is cheap to put it in because we were selling you the part to begin with. Now, if you get your own part, we don't make money off the part. Then our labor has to go up. And people get angry when we say that. But <laughs> I mean, what do you want me? What do you want me to do? I got to survive. It's a business. It's getting tight this year, guys. It's getting tight. People are running out of money. People are running out of money. Like you would not believe. You don't, the stock market just crashed like, what, 1,500 points in three days? Yeah, we're going into a depression. You don't believe me? Well, you've been through 2007, you've been through 2000, you've been through what, the 89 crash? There was a bunch of crashes. Well, it happens every 14, 15 years and we're due for a crash. But people are in la la land buying boats and all this crap and they think oh i can just keep buying 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 well they're going to be selling them and taking a loss because they're going to lose them lose them unless you got a mega money you don't see me buying new stuff i buy you stuff i don't buy new i buy new sometimes but i don't buy new all the time catch your breath catch your breath how old are you uh i don't know sometimes i feel younger than i am well what are you what are you doing it's snowing snowing what <laughs> Oh, insulation. Oh my goodness. Really? What are you doing? Well, this used to be wood. Used to be wood? It used to be wood. Not anymore. Paper mache. Paper mache. We're doing the inside now. Same day. <laughs> Same day. So that's... Hey, is this supposed to rain? I don't know. Is it going to rain? Oh, I'm getting tired. Walt and I are getting tired. He's working late because he's got to go someplace. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice RV, though. I'll tell you, Walt. Thunderstorm's coming in. Thunderstorm's coming in? Yeah, but I... it's like nothing, though. Where are we? Right here. That's Which got... way is it going? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. All right, we're going to set the floor in here for him. We're going to take this, ooh. and the bed just flips. But what do you mean, ooh, I don't like that. Is that right over our head, that storm? No, yeah, it should dissipate. All right, that's enough for one day. What do you think, Walt? We got the floor down, cabinets in, bed in almost. All these cabinets in. We just got to put the floor down in there. More to the floor, get all the trim back on. Holy crap, I'm tired. We still got to put the bed together, but that's not, we'll cut more screws and we're done. The bed, that's no big deal. These are, we got to bolt this in. We got this almost done, right, Walt? You got the shelves in? No, I got the shelves in. Oh, we got a couple pieces left in there and the squares in there. All right, so, so we're basically done. Let's take a break. Pull away, Walt. Take a breather.